Okay, in this video we're going to try to make a slightly more complicated uh, figure that has a point moving around it. And so I'm definitely going to need a slider, so I'm just going to make one of those. And uh, for no particular reason, I'm going to let this go from 0 to 32, because there's going to be kind of four paths that I want it to follow. Um, so what I'm imagining is kind of a circle here. Uh, another circle here and then a line segment up here and a line segment up here. So it looks a little like a, a track that you might run around. So what I first need is a circle. So I'm going to center it at 4 and it's going to have a radius of 2, but I want it to start at the top and uh, kind of go, what is this, counterclockwise. So I want to go counterclockwise. So 4, the x coordinate is going to start in the middle and then decrease. So what we do that is sine. And I'm going to have this take um, third 32, I guess. Uh, so pi over 16t. And then the y coordinate is going to start at the top. And so that would just be 2 cosine of pi over 16t. And then t should go from 0 to 32. And there we go. So I'm going to put a point on this just to see what's going on. And if I drag this, so it takes 16 to go there, and then another 16, I'll take it back here. And then if I, let me modify this first. So settings, go slider. And instead of oscillating, let's make it increase. And that means that if I just hit play here, this point will just keep going around. Let me speed this up. It'll just keep going around the circle kind of forever. Um, and that's what I want it to happen. Okay, so now what I want is I want a line segment that's going to go from this point over to the other circle that I'm imagining over here. So first, I'm just going to draw a line segment to kind of get an idea of what's happening. So um, the so curve. Uh, the x coordinate is going to start at 4, it's going to end at negative 4, so it's going to be 4 minus, so if I just do this, the y coordinate is always 2, if I let t go from 0 to 1, that's basically what I want. But what I actually want is for a point to be on this line segment, and it's going to start here, and then go here, and then come back to meet this point again. So I want this to also take 32. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, I need to use a trig function to make that happen. So I'm going to change this up. Let's change this up. So the x coordinate starts at a maximum and then goes to a minimum and has a midpoint of 0. So I'm actually going to use a cosine function for that. So it's 0, starts at a maximum plus, it only goes 4 away. This is going to be cosine of pi over 16t. And then uh, t should go from 0 to 32. And let me put a point on that. So that's going to be b of v, b of v. And let's see if this is doing what we want. So hit play. So at 16, they'll both be kind of halfway through. And then they're going to meet up again. 32 and keep going. Okay, so now what I also want, I want a curve down here that, well not a curve, I want another line segment that's going to start with its point over here and then meet A, go back, and then just keep meeting A again. So it's almost the same idea. Um, so I'm going to use curve. The y coordinate is always going to be negative 2 in this case. The x coordinate is going to start at negative 4 go to positive 4, back to negative 4, it has a midpoint of 0. So uh, it starts at a minimum, so that's a negative cosine curve. So I'm going to say 0 minus 4 cosine. Uh, I want this to take the same amount of time, so pi over 16 t. Um, uh, y is always negative 2, and then t, 0 to 32. Okay, let's put a point on that, t of v. And let's see if so far things are working the way we want them to. So at zero, and then they go here and they meet. And then it should go back, and at 32, we get there. Okay, so so far so good. 
Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to create a circle here that's meeting point C, then it's going to meet B, then C again, and so on and so forth. So let's think about this. So it's going to be a circle, let me use curve again, curve. Um, the X coordinate starts in the middle, and it's going to go toward a maximum, and then keep going. So it starts in the middle and goes toward a maximum, so that's positive sign. So it's going to be uh, negative 4 plus 2, positive sign, so, and then uh, pi over 16 to make the period work out. Um, the y coordinate is going to start at a minimum, and that's just negative cosine, so negative 2 cosine of pi over 16 t, and t should go from 0 to um, 32. Okay, let's put a point on this and see how things are working. I feel like this is working. So we got there, they meet, they go around, they meet, they go around. Okay, so this looks good. Um, so this actually by itself kind of looks good, uh, but what I really want now is to put one point. So I'm going to turn off the points that I have so far. So D, C, B, and A. Okay, so what I want is one point, and I'm going to use an if statement to control where it is. So if... So the first thing I want it to do, it, takes, uh, it should take 32 seconds to go all the way around, I think. Um, so it takes, no, it's going to take more than 32. It's going to take, so this takes 32 just to go back and forth. So it's going to do 16 here, 16 here, 16 here, 16 here. So it's going to take 64 to go all the way around. So if, uh, let's say if V is less than 16, I want to be on this curve. And this curve is actually called V, so I want to do V of V. Um, and then as soon as I get to 16, I want to transition over to this circle. That's curve D. So if V is less than 32 for the next half or next quarter, I guess, of the trip, I want this was D of V, comma, if as soon as I get to the next part, so that's going to be if V is less than 48. Um, so from 0 to 16, it'll do this. Then uh, 16 to 32, it should be here. And then 32 to 48, it should be here. And this is curve C. So I want to do C of V, comma. And then uh, I guess I'm going to use another if statement. So if uh, V is less than 64, I want to be on this curve, which is actually the first one we made, which is curve A. So I want A of V. Uh, let's press Enter and see what's happening here. So that's point E drag this back to zero, hit play, and let's see what happens. So because of the way we did this, um, well, that's not working at all. Oh, it's not working because this doesn't go up high enough. Um, let's go up to 64. Let's see. All right, now let's see if it's working. There, there, there. Okay, so that's basically working. Because of the way we did this, it, it slows down as it reaches the circles or the kind of the transition points there, um, which is fine because I just really wanted to make this happen. Uh, I think it worked out. I hope you uh, followed along and uh, good luck.